Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this all nude makeup look that I absolutely love. It is one of my go-to looks. I love it. It is all nude. It is glossy. It is dewy. It is amazing to take pictures with against the sunlight. It is so, 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 so stunning. I'm going to insert a clip here of me against the window so you can see how beautiful it looks against the light. So if you want pictures like that, this is the perfect look for that. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Put the notifications on so I can pop up in your feed. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let's get right into the makeup look. I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the hydrating one. Um, I think it's it's pretty good. I don't think it's like not worth the money. But I definitely think that there are better primers out there for a more affordable price. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Cabral Benefit Pomade. And I'm going to be using my ABH Eyebrow Brush. I think this is number 12 i don't know because it completely wiped off but it's the one with the smaller angle and then the one with the spoolie i really like brushes like this i'm just going to be filling in any sparse areas that i have and then brushing them through filling it in brushing it through and kind of repeating that until i feel like like i get a really nice full brow and then i'm going to carve it out with concealer now that we got the brows on, I'm going to move to my base. I'm going to be using a CCC cream. This is from the brand Eye Queen. You can use whatever base that you want. But lately, I've been really liking using these type of bases instead of foundation. I literally just blend it in with my hand like if it was moisturizer. For concealer, I'm using my Sephora Gel Serum. I'm in the shade number 7, Custard. And I'm going to just put some right here. And on the outer corner i like to have a really bright inner corner and then right here i get some darkness so i like to put some there and i'm going to put some on the chin and some on the forehead now with this tiny little buffing brush this is the morphe r33 i'm going to start blending that out and then once i blend it out i like to go in with my ring finger and just dab it over i feel like it just helps give that very like natural seamless finish for contour i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hill stick foundation in the shade mink i really really like this i just place a little bit and then i go in with a foundation brush or you can go in with like a buffing brush i like using this one from real techniques i believe that this is their face brush i'm not sure but i love it i feel like i just go in and start buffing it and it gives such a nice like natural finish it distributes it perfectly like in the areas that I want it to be. Now I'm going to go in and set all the areas that I want to set, which is generally under the eyes, my eyelids, and the forehead right there where I tend to get creases. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I love that it has a slight yellow tinge to it. This is the color Fair Light, so it's able to cancel out any purpleness that I have under my eyes and on my eyelids. Then I'm going to be going in with my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil, and I'm going to use the same brush I used to blend out uh, my contour, and I'm just going to go lightly over that area. That'll set it for when we use powder, bronzer, and contour. But if you're not planning on using any of that, then you really, really don't have to. This just gives like a really nice smoothing finish. I forgot my color switch, so I'm using one of these bun things to take off the eyeshadow from my brush. So there's a little tip. If you do not have that at hand, then you can go into one of these. It has the same like material that color switches have so you just kind of swirl your brush in there and it takes off all the products so you're able to bounce back and forth with product with um, eyeshadow colors i use this palette so so much but i highly highly recommend it if you don't know it's my ray ray is a youtuber here on youtube obviously <laughs> she's a beauty youtuber and she collaborated with bh cosmetics and she came out with this palette right here i think it's really really pretty i use it very often it's a highlighting and contouring and eyeshadow palette so i recommend it if you guys don't have it it's also very affordable i'm gonna go into this color right here nudist and i'm going to put it in my transition area so i'm going to just blend it 
out right there. It's go although nudist seems like a very, very pale type of color, it gives a very nice, slight, like little tinge. I, I hope the camera picks it up really well, but it gives like a really nice tinge. It almost looks like, like slightly, not or not orange, honestly, peachy, I guess. So I'm using this really fluffy, fluffy blending brush. This is Morphe R40. Like it's huge. It takes up practically my entire eyelid. And I'm going in lightly, just blending that out back and forth, back and forth. Remember, this is a nude colored makeup tutorial. So it's going to be just all very like nudey, monochromatic eyeshadow looks. But seriously, guys, I really do love this palette. If you don't have it, I suggest you... Oh, I put it in the wrong one. Ah! I suggest you go ahead and pick it up. I believe that it's selling like at Ulta, I think. Yeah, I think they have it at Ulta. I don't know if they have it at all Ultas. You should consider getting the palette if you're looking for a palette with like a nice variety of colors. Look at all the colors. Look at all the shimmers. One that's really nice and pigmented. And that's affordable. I'm going in with this small brush. This is the Morphe E18, the same color. And I'm putting it on the bottom of my eye. Now with the smaller fluffy brush, I'm going into the color right here, Pancake. And now we're really gonna start creating that like depth and dimension in the eye. I'm gonna use the Morphe R38. I really love like the R series collection that they have. I'm gonna start placing that color in the outer corner and then just blend it onto my eyelid and my crease. Whenever I blend eyeshadow, I try to keep a very, very light hand. That is key to having very seamlessly blended eyeshadow. So your eyeshadow doesn't look super like harsh or anything like that. You're gonna wanna keep a very, very light hand and then just go and continue blending them out. And I also like to build my eyeshadow in like gradient patterns so i'll start with like lightest to darkest and then build my way up look how pretty that looks i love that i love that eye makeup look and it's perfect you can literally do it without falsies but we all know me we all know i'm a little you know i have to wear falsies these eyeshadows blend so good together it's insane how affordable this palette is and how well it works it's cold today in miami now it's cold for Miami standards. By the way, I'm using that same color pancake and I'm going in with this little brush and I'm just putting it in the outer corner. But it's been cold today and I haven't stepped foot outside and it's like 2 p.m. because I've been in here and just prepping to film and all that. Anywho, um, I feel like I smell the cold and it smells like Christmas. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but like it smells like the holidays. I'm gonna go into this color right here, Allison, and I'm gonna pop that color in my brow bone. And Allison normally is not a color that you would put up there. It is a little bit darker. Usually you would go with something like this or like this, but Allison has like a little bit, I mean, you can't really see it, but I really like that like cool nude undertone that that color has. And I like for putting it there in the brow bone and then I'm gonna put it on the lid. So then it's gonna look like all I don't know, it's just gonna like flow and it's gonna look all like glowy and shimmery. It's gonna look really good with pictures against the light and the sun. There's not much light out. Like I said, the, the, the weather is like cold and a little gloomy, but when I finish the makeup look, I'm gonna get closer to the window so you can see. Also, if you guys want me to film a golden hour makeup tutorial, please, please, please let me know because I, look at that, wow, I love, love like love golden hour pictures and i have like this makeup look that i like to do for those type of pictures so let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in please i'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush and kind of just blend those two in normally i wouldn't do that but i want them to really like blend into each other it's like you can't tell from here but then i go like this boom whoa that is so pretty i love it now i'm going into allison again and i'm going to pop it right here right in the inner portion of the eye 
it doesn't need to be perfect it doesn't need to be like carved out it doesn't need to be anything super intricate you can use your finger it's supposed to look like that nice like wash of color like i feel like i say this for like so many so many different things that i do on my channel i'm like so pretty these type of makeup looks are perfect perfect for pictures in the natural light it just looks so pretty before I finish my eyes and put lashes and all that stuff, I want to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Guys, this is like God sent for me. Affordable, bomb, and we're not going to be using any blush today because this is a nude makeup look and I feel like it's going to kind of throw that off and it won't, it, the rosiness is just going to throw it off. For highlighter, for these type of looks, I like to go with ones that are gold but with like a rosy tone and this one in the palette is perfect it is perfect because i feel like it just adds to that nudie look and this is a really really nice highlight look beautiful it is beautiful i'm gonna set my face before i put mascara because i don't want it to smear i'm using the milani make it dewy for my liquid liner, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner to create a nice wing so that it can conceal the band of my lashes. You don't have to do a wing, you can just use it on the lash line, but I like a wing for this look. For lashes, I'm gonna be using these guys right here. This is the Style Brasserie. I believe they're from Kiss. Regardless, I'm going to link them down below, but these are my faves lately. Lashes really make looks. I say this all the time. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial on how I put false lashes on. Like, how to put false lashes on for dummies. Seriously, because I struggle with putting false lashes on and I've kind of found a way that I'm like, all right, I think this is gonna work for me. While the glue dries, I'm gonna use my Essence Make Me Brow Gel to fluff up my eyebrows. I'm brushing them upwards. This will make them look fuller. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Telescopic zero surprise if you want you can keep this look without any lashes i mean any mascara on the bottom which is fine it looks just as beautiful but i like to put a little little light coat then with that same mascara i'm just gonna coat my top lashes so they could blend in with the falsies now with my lash curler i'm gonna go in and give them a really slight squeeze just so they can basically become one now for this look, there are a couple of different lip options that I normally go for. So I'm gonna kind of run through them. If you guys want a separate video of like my go-to nude lipsticks or my favorite nude lipsticks, then I could definitely do that. Just leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it. But these are the ones that I generally steer toward. Now, this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Matte Lipstick in Honey. There, so you can kind of see it's a little rosier. It's a little toastier. That's not the one we're going to go for, but I generally steer toward that one sometimes. This one is like my go-to. This is the one that I'm probably going to use today. This is Ulta in the number 259. Love, love this nude with the Fenty gloss over it. Bitch. I also like the Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D. I'll wear that one when I'm going for like a more matte look. And it's a little toastier. Now my go-to glosses for this look, sometimes I put them on top of... No, Nala's making her way onto my lap. Sometimes I put them on top of these, sometimes I use them on their own. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lip Gloss in Unreal, which is stunning, like guys it is so beautiful look at that it's very similar to bow and arrow but glossy as shit then the fenty beauty gloss which is more of like a rosy tone see that and then the elf clear gloss which is obviously clear like it's not any special color but i like using that sometimes literally just like this i'll put the clear gloss and i feel like that really adds to that nude look or i'll put like a little bit of like lip liner so i'm just gonna go in with the ulta that is literally the perfect nude for me and then i'm going with the elf gloss right on top of it so i am against my window right now and this is exactly what it looks like in natural light isn't it so beautiful 
I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and what else you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.